Do we want to look at some clips from? Uh, we have, I think we have a clip cue from Isabel. Yeah, it's uh, from Fantasy. Actually, it's almost at the end of the film. It's well, it's the climate basically, so uh, je, je vole le punch, je suis ton peu plus fin, mais c'est le punch. En passant, I have a DVD here. Here? It's uh, only eight bucks, it's a DVD I made especially for the Japanese market. There are two of my films on it, there's uh, Aspiralux and uh, Fantasy, which I think by far are my best short films. Well, I don't want to be pretentious, I just believe, believe the art. And Fantasy's won a bunch of awards on the festival yeah, circuit. Yeah, well, thank you very much. And um, yeah, well, Fantasy won the jury's prize at Fantasia two years ago. And uh, Aspirelux won the uh, best short film at Vita Fimia at Quebec City uh, many, many, many years ago. I did that film in 2002. They are two boot films with, come on, sir. They are really twisted and sexual, that's what they have in common, basically. So, yeah. right, if, if you want it, just ask me. <laughs> <laughs> Vous allez voir, Madame Landry, ça va bien se passer.
film? When is this film going to be out? Well, right now, um, I, I haven't heard yet because like festival submissions deadline are like this week. So it's so finished. It's and finished. It's and I already sent it. it. Yeah, like I just sent out already a few um, copies to a few festivals, and I keep I'll keep sending it because mm -hmm. trying to get into like all the horror festivals which are around Halloween, which the deadlines are all now. So I have I don't have yet a premiere date because I'm still waiting to to hear back, you know, from the festival that I submitted to. Um, but if not, then I'll have just a local casting crew premiere very soon, probably when Fantasia's over in August at some point, so that people who worked on the film can actually watch it. And uh, eventually, probably later this year, I'm gonna like put the DVD uh, up, like you know, on my website, like as like as soon as it will have been, well, it will have played a bit, you know, and gathered some, uh, you know, either reviews or attention. So. Yeah. And Elsa, you've uh, made the wonderful graveyard alive. Um, and did you want to show a clip from that, or did you want to show? Yeah. I'm showing you a trailer. The a trailer, trailer for graveyard, graveyard alive. Yeah. So why don't you tell for anybody who hasn't seen? I'm sure I'm sure many people here have seen graveyard alive, but just in case they haven't, um, maybe tell a bit about the, the filmmaking process, like the actual film that you used. Yes, I shot that was in technoscope, which is an old process. It's a two, gives a two three five image, but we use half the frame of a 35 millimeter. So we ended up getting like a super, super long aspect ratio. And we shot it for, shot for 25,000, edited, swap, did the post for $25,000, and it's a feature. Um, we shot it on film back in 2000. And uh, yeah, I was 24 and I didn't know what I was doing. So I think that so long. <laughs> And we finished it three years later, and then I went out to the festivals and got distribution. And, and yeah, it did pretty well for a little crazy little zombie movie. So you can buy it on Amazon too. I've said it before, but I want to tell you again how sorry I am about your wife. It must make you scared to get close to someone again. What do you know about zombies? Remember that unfortunate woodcutter? Like somebody finally found a boyfriend. <laughs> he bit you, didn't he? Doctor, the patient in room five is dead. Dead? Good job. He was one of them. A vile creature. I'm gonna find out her secret no matter what it is. <clears throat> you are one, too. You are in love with her. Don't be stupid. Nobody calls me stupid. But Daddy, she is a zombie. What you need is a good night's sleep. Ugh. Women, you have been having strange dreams, and your arms no longer obey your command. You have been feasting solely on meat, at first cooked, and then raw. You better watch out or she'll get you too. But until you begin feasting on human flesh, you will continue to decompose until you are nothing but a living corpse. The only cure for this terrible affliction is Post-production on the captured bird. And what we'll tell you about it uh, is is that um, it's kind of unconventional. It's um, 
a bit of an art house horror film. Um, that's to say that it's, it's kind of a dark fantasy. There's no dialogue. The entire story is just told through image, the images in the film. Um, and it's very ambitious, which is why it's going to take months. Um, we're, we're just facing months of visual effects work right now. So I wanted to show you some stuff, but it just would have just been you know, green screen stuff and a kid interacting with nothing and it just it would have been, you know, yeah. it would have been kind of uneventful. Um, so we're, I'm hoping to have it finished before the end of the year. It's, it's been a really ambitious project. It's 10 minutes long and it cost us about $100,000. Um, 65 of that was actual cash and the rest is like begging, begging people for favors, and begging visual effects companies to give us ten thousand dollars worth of effects for two thousand dollars and stuff like that so a lot of ingenious begging <laughs> so uh, hopefully next next spring festival circuit yeah yeah i hope <laughs>